Hi friends, I'm back with one more video. So today we will be discussing one more unique strategy of strangle management. <coughs> this is going to be like very unique. This would definitely help few of the conservative traders. But this will become a, again a debatable topic, meaning from the trading arena. But still, I would like to show you. See, there should be multiple ways of managing this strangle. It's not always all about <coughs> deploying the standard strangle, doing the same adjustments because you have to back. You you have to have the view of the market based on your risk appetite, based on your trading style. If you are a full-time trader or a part-time trader, everything comes into consideration when you go for this strangle management. So now, this is going to be like a bit uh, unique and a different uh, adjustment. Okay, before this, before this, I would like you to watch this video, uh, the one which I have made, like strangle, this one, strangle adjustments. I am just taking the same example, so it would, it is always a good. Uh, I mean, I would rather recommend you to watch this video followed by this video, friend. Followed by this, I have just published two minutes back. I right? published one minute back. Just watch this video, strangle adjustment, and then followed by this video, and then you can watch this video. That is the in the sequence. <coughs> you will be able to understand more. Okay, I'm just trying to take the same example what I've shown you. <coughs> Sorry, friends. <coughs> Okay, uh, wherein the market gave like 220 points wild movement and 7 percent up move. So watch this video and this video. Okay, let me take you back to. Uh, this thing okay let me now this strategy is all about let's say and let's say you deployed a strangle this was your strangle right market was standing in the between right you let's say you have like five percent safety on the downside and five percent safety on the upside next day morning market had a gap up market opened here so now you have so maybe 3% is 5 plus 3%. So you have 5 plus 3% safety on the call put side. You have only 3% safety on the 2% safety basically on the call side. This is absolutely imbalanced. So what what start what adjustments we do? We just roll up, we exit this call leg and then we roll up the put. That is also one of the good adjustment. But rather than this, what we have to do is like this is day two. We have deployed on Thursday, end of the day, day two. So we have another another five days for the expiry. So rather than just rolling up your put <coughs> by just increasing the uh, range on the call side, so what I'll do, I'll roll up the put to 100 or 200 points. At the same time, again what I'll do, I'll roll up the put, meaning I'll exit the put and then I'll roll up and at the same time I'll exit the call also. I'll exit the call and then I will go to some e e a deep OTM, not deep OTM, like 2 to 300 points OTM. So what happens is like whenever I roll up the put, right, this will this will increase the range of the call side and then I'll exit the call leg, I'll exit the call leg what I have and then I'll just go. 2 to 300 points item. So what will happen is like I'll get a safety like this. I'll get a safety on the call side. Again, I'll be like in the middle of the market with one adjustment. See, stay with me. So that's what when I'm telling you. Watch my those two videos. You will get to know because this is a sort of uh, sequence. Okay. See, this is your iron fly. I'll show you practical also. Right, you have five percent safety on downside, five percent safety on upside. Absolute, right? You're, you're with me so far. Market opened three percent gap up. <coughs> now you will have your safety will increase to five plus three. That is, let's say let's say two percent. Right? Why three or two percent? Five plus two. So your downside will be like seven percent, and your upside will be five minus two. That is like only three percent. So now. This is your day two. Day two at the start of the uh, let's say start of the market. So I have like another five days. So why should I uh, aggressively pu uh, do the put rollover rather than aggressively doing? I'll just roll over my put to like hundred or two hundred points, and then I'll also I'll exit the call, and then I'll uh, I'll buy I'll, I will sell a call like two hundred points OTM so that my bring my range will increase on the call side so again my, my my iron flame will become something like this. Again, I'll come on the middle. So now <coughs> your safety would be maybe you'll have safety of six percent here or five point five percent. You'll have a safety of four point five percent or five percent on your call side. 
that's it the 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 disadvantage of this is your maximum profit will decrease but again when the market give a gap up by 3% are you still looking for profit your your view has gone wrong you thought market would be sideways even in spite of market making it 2% 3% gap up if you are still looking for profit then no one can help you now we have to start <coughs> mitigating the loss forget about profit now because 2% 3% gap down what did i say the threat of the option seller is gap ups and gap downs i have already explained everything in this video also friend uh, i made a very good video you can just watch this video you can watch this video friends the <coughs> myths of adjustments this video the myths of adjustment this is going to be like high opener for you okay let me take you back to <coughs> upstar okay right and let me delete all this here <coughs> so 320 we have deployed the same example we have deployed a uh, strangle <coughs> okay we have deployed a strangle with almost like 10 lots right 10 lots will give you how much 10 lots will give you a capital of 12 lakhs 61000 right let's say 12 lakhs 50000 so what is the profit you are getting a profit of in obstra let me show you you are getting a profit of almost uh, done okay actually i should have i should have taken 50 i should have taken 50 friends actually okay let me take uh, uh, this thing also okay i think i think i i have done a mistake because if you look at this right if you look at this i said start with 2% profits then slowly increase the range and slowly increase the profit okay let me let me get you back to 2% not a big deal i'll just delete this and just delete this now i'll get a premium of 50 rupees not a big issue wherever i see the premium of 50 rupees right i'll sell 10 lots <coughs> let's see i'll sell close to the single 10 lots that's it friend <coughs> now if you look at your profit you have a safety of almost 6.58% on the downside and you have a safety of almost like 5% on the upside your profit is 25000 so what is 25000 what is 25000 on a capital of 12 lakhs 50000 but this is very important 12 lakhs 50000 into 100 almost <coughs> 2% right you are starting with two percent profit that's what i meant to say here right start with two percent <coughs> and let's see based on the how the trade goes start to increase in case if you have a bigger gap up or gap down we have to increase the range of our trade and if you get an opportunity so then we will see to increase the profit right you should not be right what, what did you say this should be your target whenever you have a gap up by two percent three percent right you should even leave the plan of getting into profit you have to work only on mitigating the profit if you get an option then you have to see how you can increase the profit but your first priority should be mitigate the loss how can we mitigate the loss by increasing the range okay let me take you back to obstra this is your at 320 <coughs> you have a profit of two percent right you have almost uh, six percent uh, on the downside and five percent on the upside let me take you to the close of the day five minutes five minutes you are at the close of the day you are at 962 loss next day morning i'm just taking you check check friend here the market stands at 33,350 now next day boom 33,350 so that is let me calculate right then only you'll be able to understand how much of market gap done has given 33,000 what was that let me show you 33,359 all right so market gave almost 480 points gap up <coughs> see market gave 480 points gap up you are into loss so now what we have to do now forget about this profit because already you are in loss the next day you are in loss now you have to mitigate your loss right you have to mitigate your loss what you have to do is i'll go to <coughs> profit and loss <coughs> what i'll do <coughs> see friends there are like multiple ways i'll show you like two ways here this is going to be like very interesting video see what i'll do just to increase the a range on the call side let me show you this right you have only a range of 3.3 percent almost three percent only from three percent see from five percent your range has decreased on the call side because market gave a gap up of almost 480 points you have huge range on the put side eight percent check the green box now the first statement adjustment what i can do is 
exit this call leg this is unique right everyone what we do we we exit this put leg and we roll up the put we sell one more put worth close to this 104 <coughs> that already i've made a video you can just watch that's what i'm telling watch this video followed by this video and then watch this video all right now what i'll do i'll do the other way i'll just exit the call with this loss i'll accept this loss i'll exit this okay now uh i didn't for it i'll exit this right now what i'll do I, I will sell one more call close to the premium of put it's the other way it's a unique adjustment i'll sell call close to the premium of you put premium is at standing at 18 9 i'll go to option chain and look out for 18 or 20 right 18 rupees or 20 rupees so let's take this one right at the call side we can just take the risk right uh, let okay let me take this one right which is close i'll sell <coughs> check the difference friends check the difference the moment i do this this is how your trade will become now you will you have increased your range on the call side by almost six percent from three percent you're able to increase your range on the call side to six percent you still have you were able to increase your <coughs> range on the put side from six percent to eight percent seven point eight three percent but the catch is the profit of what was your original profit <coughs> your original profit was twenty five thousand but now it has reduced to 4000 all the gamblers would quit for media now they will quit what the hell is he doing 25000 of profit he bought it to 4000 they'll just exit they'll just quit my video but i'm making this video for the conservative traders the one who wanted to make <coughs> his career as a full time trader and want to get consistent profit this is one of the adjustments what we can do okay you have safety of 8% uh, on the downside you have safety of 6% but if someone says no i do not uh, want that much of safety because why should i have safety on the put side why should i have eight percent right uh, I, I should have only uh, range on the call side so i'll tell you one more unique <coughs> adjustment okay i'll delete this <coughs> i'll get it back to zero stay with me friends stay with me these are all required adjustments for you see strangle management is all about unique adjustments i'm just telling you all the paid adjustments you will not find this kind of adjustments friends i mean people will charge you for this thing but even i've explored the market i'm just giving you free of course watch this video two to three times people will charge you okay <clears throat> what is the other way and all the adjustments depends on your view i'm not even considering the market view over here see for me this plays a very important role the mark see for me this place see if i have this resistance if i have if let's say this is my parallel channel so i'll do adjustment here at the support i'll do adjustment at the resistance when the market is in the middle i'll do uh, other adjustment when the, when the when the market has given the breakout of my trend and then i'll adjust my trade see i mean there are like a number of trade i mean adjustments i'm not even considering the chart analysis if you want i can make the chart analysis videos also okay let me come back to your <coughs> uh, what do you say uh, what is this so back to your trade okay so what did we do did we do something wrong here okay okay sorry friends this is a original screen this was my previous video so that's what i got surprised this is our original so now we are back next day morning market gave a 480 points the other adjustment what you can do right simple friends the second adjustment go to profit and loss book this profit book this leg now you have to book this <coughs> you have to book this put right with the profit of 8725 simple friends book this profit and <coughs> what is the premium 104 premium right do not match this 104 premium which target for 70 80 90 rupees i'll tell you stay with me right do not you have to sell one more put but do not match the premium of call and you'll get to know go to option chain right target for some 50 rupees or 60 rupees which you say 60 rupees let's take the 60 or 50 right i'll tell you the logic why right sell this sell this 10 lots when you do this i'll show you the magic what happens now when you do this see your profit has increased now right your profit has increased but you have safety of almost 4.87 percent on the put side but still your call side you have only 3.3 percent but now again you'll say we all know the market is going up and you'll say <coughs> you know the market that's what what i'm doing is like see i could have bought this put almost a year 
right why i went for 64 rupees right i could have bought my put somewhere here i know i know the bias actually i'm not doing the bias i'm just letting you know how realistic we can do the adjustments i could have bought this 33 32200 to 30 32000 see I'll, I'll show you right i could have bought it to 32300 right i'll show you 32300 right i bought 60 rupees i could have bought it to 100 rupees here let me show you <coughs> okay now i know pretty well that market will go up right see i was able to increase the range on my call set to four percent right i was able to increase the profit also but i don't want to uh, cheat you friend because at the end of the day i'm showing you simulation i know market is going up okay i'll, I'll, I'll just get it back to <coughs> 65 rupees to make it more realistic right 65 or 55 okay let me go to 64 i sold this and again i've converted back to my strangle but you have a safety of almost 5 percent on the downside and uh, 3.6 percent on the but still your call side is exposed right you have more safety on the put side every time we have to have more safety on the put side friend because when market falls it falls like anything right if you are watching my videos i mean i, I always uh, show safety on the put side not now what you have to do go to profit and loss book this profit book your profit of the sorry uh, what i mean to say your call book this loss 13900 book this loss friend right you have to book this loss by exiting that leg and now you have to sell a call close to 64 rupees premium now you got my point right see the magic what will happen you have exited this leg now you have to sell a call close to 64 rupees go to option chain go to 64 any time which has 64 even you can take 73 rupees okay let's take let's take 61 okay i'll, I'll sell 61 <coughs> now check what happens by doing this i'm showing you all the adjustment by doing this now see your profit <coughs> is back to normal uh your, this thing see you have a safety of 4.74 percent and you are you are almost able to increase your range on the call side by from two percent to almost four percent right now I'll not do the simulation now you go back to my this video you can do the same so now you can just manage your triangle management because day one we were able to right balance our trade to safety on the call side and also on the put side now you have to just go you have the same potential maximum market or maximum profit potential you have still two percent slowly you have to now do your adjustments then do your adjustment the basic purpose of making this video is like if we could have just rolled up the put only then we would have decreased the uh, range right we could have decreased the range though the profit was increased but this is more systematic way. still you have four percent safety on the downs on the upside and four percent safety on the <coughs> downside let me let me say what could have happened rather than i'm selling 61 rupees what would have happened if i've sold not 61 but let me say 73 <coughs> this this way you have to just play around with the obstra right then see your 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 uh, this thing has reduced your range on the call side has reduced because you are becoming very aggressive so your range on the put side is increasing so what will happen rather than selling 73 rupees what would have happened if i have sold not 61 73 or only 51 rupees right 51 rupees check the check the payoff graph you have a safety of almost 4.38 percent you were able you are able to increase the safety on the call side right you are able to decrease your profit but you are able to increase the range on the call side you have the still good range on the put side this is the way we need to <coughs> do the adjustments friend do not give importance always to this profit you have to stay focused on your undefined because a gap up of another two percent three percent on the upside or downside you'll end up into your undefined loss that's the reason um, i keep telling start with two percent increase the range the next day if you get into that situation wherein you have like huge gap up or gap down forget about gap down if you have gap down of two percent three percent exit your trade do not even do the firefighting that's what i've covered in this video <coughs> the myths of adjustments the myths of adjustment many people are having wrong impression on the adjustments whenever the market falls like two to three percent exit your trade, trade do not even do the adjustments rather deploy a new strangle i've shown all the all the myths of the adjustment this is like eye opener video for many of the retailers okay let me again <coughs> take you back to 
uh, this thing right start with 2% profit right if you have like gap up of 2% 3% increase the range then let's see if you are able to increase the profit as and when you progress with this strategy we, we never know the market can give you like all types of bounces i would rather say start with 1% friend i would rather say start with 1% if you saw my video right initially what did i say initially actually i had 25 rupees because that is my my premium every time i go for 25 rupees every time i go for 25 rupees every week when i start this triangle i go for 25 that is that is almost like 1% of your returns and slowly what i'll try to do i'll try to i'll start with 1% and then i'll increase the range if market gave me some uh, like weird uh, wild moments and then i'll try to increase the profit to 2% that's it 2% per week 4 8% per month 100% per year which is feasible by doing smart trading or else i'll say 1% per week 4% per month 48% per year oh, guys 48% per year just imagine the compounding if you, if you add if you if you add your compounding you will you will be able to create the forget about wealth you will be able to create good income from your trading provided you have that conservative uh, approach not like a gambler right i've made a video also see strangle for smart traders this is this is important friends strangle for smart traders strangle for conservative traders and for gambler watch this video this would be like i hope per video i'm open for all the comments be it negative but it should be backed up by strong data points if someone is not aligned with my view right make a video make a documentation you just take the same expiry week and you just tell us like what better we could have done definitely i'll accept that i mean because even i'm exploring the market even that could be an learning whatever i'm telling i might be right i might be wrong i might be partially right i might be partially wrong because there is no holy grail in the stock market i'll tell one example even the google ceo even the microsoft ceo even the amazon ceo cannot predict is share price for the next second right when the ceo cannot predict the share for the next price what you and me can do as a normal retailer see what my point because market is supreme see when i say market is supreme see market itself is not supreme friends market itself see market is not a tool or something like market is driven by so called fis i'll, I'll give you a classic example I, I think i think i've given this example many times i'll give you one classic example friends right market is driven by market is driven by so called fis let's say there are like 100 uh, fis right when i say fis this people play with crores not i would not not once a crores with, with billions of rupees right i would say 100 crores 200 crores 5000 crores all this is right let's say 50% people from the fis forget about retailers are bullish and 50% are bearish okay so now end of the day even this fis are human beings right all humans can be wrong right no two humans no one human can no two humans can have the same opinion when you have different opinion in 50% of the rate uh, fis saying that market will be down another 50 will say market will be up right this is what i say market is supreme market itself is not supreme market is driven by people right people <laughs> you know right <coughs> people do not have the same opinion so 50% people will say up 50% people will say down that's it market will be sideways simple because end of the day let's say 70% of the people say i market will go up 30% of the fis says to market will be obviously sideways to mild bullish the other way 70 30 sideways to mild bearish right so what i mean to say is that end of the day market is driven by so called people people are idiots i mean if you think that you are smart people at times can become idiot even you and me we will do blunder mistakes we have done so many mistakes because end of the day we are humans so that's the reason i keep telling that market is supreme because it is driven by so called idiot people <clears throat> right when i say fis right you have to just follow the fis let's say 80% of the fis are right bullish about the market 20% are bearish is take try to take the side of the fis do not go bearish take the side of the fis because 80% people of the fis are bullish mean they have their own 
systems they have all the news right they might have done the analysis they have so called good technical analyst into the teams right take the just follow this fas when fas 80% of the fas are bullish and if you are going for the bearish that is you are doing <coughs> one of the blunder thing what i am telling you is just follow this trend follow the trend of the fas by having your own analysis on the chart let's say 20 let's say 80% are bull, bearish 20% are bullish then there is no point in going bullish you have to go for bearish trades so this is what i made a video on how to do the market analysis based on the open interest based on your chart analysis and also what the fis are doing fis can just turn the game friends because this fis people will trade our nifty future in singapore market sgx market after our market close let's say our market close at 330 this I mean, many of the retailers are not aware of this let's say the market close after 330 that is not the end of our nifty once this close the same the same nifty future gets traded in sgx nifty until the next day morning our morning 230 am 2:30 a.m. That's where your FIIs will change the entire game in in the SJX Singapore market by trading our Nifty features. That's where we see huge gap downs and huge gap ups. <coughs> All right, already I've made a video. <coughs> right, if you are like interested, go and search uh, my video. Just go and see. I've 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 have all the thumbnails. in the images also let me show you if i if i can find uh, it that immediately where can i find that one second i mean this this is pain friends honestly searching my own videos right where is that i made mm, mm, analysis friends. analysis using open interest i made one video this is intraday trade where is that right this not not this thing again see that's what what was the see I'm not sure like where where i made that video but definitely right by do by intraday um one second give me a second strangle bible is that friends some way i've done that that is very interesting video friend mm there is that sorry friends i'm not able to okay i'll do one thing i'll just put that uh, in yeah this one nifty yeah this one friends nifty bank nifty see nifty bank nifty view based on price action open interest and fiis right this have shown all the combination watch this video that you will get to know what fiis are doing and i think already i've made one recent video on the fiis also so if you want you can just go to that video where is the <coughs> <coughs> One second, people with experience. One second, friend. Let me search that. Uh, yeah, this is multi strike. Okay, maximum profit. Live examples. Nifty. Okay, friends. Okay, friends. So I'll I'll just put that into the description. So you all got right. Either start from one percent, try to increase the range of the. Trade on both sides based on the view of the market, and then try to increase the profit to 2.5 percent. So you have to do it gradually. Do not act as a gambler. This is one of the smart. This is one of the eye opener video, friends. This is one of the eye opener video which I have just deployed like five minutes back. How to deploy this triangle from a smart perspective trader, from a smart trader, from a conservative trader, and from the gambler. All right. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching video.